We've looked into the past. Now let's try to look into the future a little bit because we talked a lot about improving the language, and certainly there has been a lot of effort in including the la uh, improving the language with all these nice declarative syntaxes and all these other nice declarative syntaxes, <laughs> and perhaps in some cases some even better declarative <laughs> syntaxes. And I mean. I guess we all like the STL. I mean, that's what makes C++ very special to every developer, not just C++ developers. You have to know this if you want to speak to us. But the problem is that for a long time, all these very nice algorithms were sequential. So what did we do? Um, we came up with ways to, to use all the nice uh, computing power that we've got over the decades. And sometimes in a very ugly way, but then clever people came up with more um, nice looking versions for roughly the same thing, let's say. Now, here's a very um, famous example, shall I say. So let's just compute <coughs> the sum of squares. And well, there is this very nice function called accumulate, which where you can you know, specify what's your operation. So you just write this very nice thing and it works, and then you want to do this in parallel, and you find that this function is a bit renamed. Okay, it does the same thing, right? And turns out that, you know, it's just, it just doesn't. So, um, the problem is that people don't test this. <clears throat> like, you don't want to test tens of millions of data every time you, you run your build system, right? So, What's the problem here? Any idea? Not commutative, yes. And indeed, but the problem is that I never got a warning about this. And there is something even worse. Uh, I come from teaching experience. I asked my students, master students, fourth year, fifth year, uh, you know, gave them this example and almost none of them knew this requirement. So what we did is that even though you can switch around your code to split out the non-commutative part and, and the, the addition, uh, this will still not warn you. And commutativity is a hard problem. So if you are interested, nice academic conferences are very much awaiting you. But instead what we did, with one of my students is to create a wrapper library. I think you can see this here, PSTL, just, you know, fancy name. Uh, and thanks to all the nice features of C++20, it can at least tell you that you are doing something wrong. And I mean, it's not checking it, but it's requiring you to at least make a comforting lie. <laughs> now, I, uh, the code is with my student. I plan to get it from them and put it somewhere publicly available. But, you know, as long as you don't attest, I think this is commutative, it will at least not let it compile you. And if you understand what commutativity is, maybe you will just think for a moment when you get these nice error messages. Thank you. <laughs>